A Toronto baby is the first in the world to be conceived by a new IVF treatment. The Toronto doctor offering the procedure says it could give new hope to women struggling to get pregnant. Shannon Martin is joining us live in studio tonight with more on this very new procedure. Yes, so Dr. Robert Casper in Yorkville just started doing the procedure last year and the first baby just delivered four weeks ago. He was I'm born sure. five pounds, four, four ounces. ounces. Yeah. Not even four weeks old and baby Zane is already a little celebrity. He is the first baby ever conceived using a new form of in vitro fertilization. For four long years, Natasha and Omar Rajani tried everything, fertility drugs and traditional IVF, but nothing worked. Then came new hope. I remember calling Omar and telling him I was in tears and I told him that I think we just won the lottery. Their doctor, Marjorie Dixon, recommended a procedure called Augment IVF. We want to do things effectively and we want to do things that are safe for our patients. We also have to be open-minded and sometimes we just have to be visionary. Here's how it works. Doctors take stem cells from a mother's yet-to-be-developed eggs and isolate the mitochondria. The mitochondria acts as a powerhouse, re-energizing the mother's older eggs, eventually combined with the father's sperm, to create an embryo. So it's very analogous to a flashlight sitting on a shelf in a closet. And we know there's nothing wrong with the flashlight, but the batteries sort of wear down over time. And so what we're essentially doing is, is taking these fresh, healthy mitochondria from these egg precursor cells and essentially replacing the batteries in the egg. Dr. Robert Casper's Yorkville Clinic is the only one in North America offering the treatment. I think what we're doing is essentially bringing this very poor prognosis group of patients up to the level that's essentially normal for their age. Uh, so we're, we, you know, we're into the range of uh, about 40% pregnancy. Oh, no, no, no. For these proud parents, it worked on the first try. They call baby Zane their miracle. When in doubt, I mean, the... So Zane was the first, but eight other babies are expected to be born this summer. Fertility experts that we talked to today say the numbers are still too small to tell whether the treatment is effective and it needs more clinical study. A very happy Mother's Day for her coming mm -hmm. up till this weekend. How does this, the cost of this procedure compared to other IVF procedures? Well, it's expensive and that's something that could hold back other people from getting it. It's on average about $30,000, but of course that could change depending if you need to try it several times and other treatments you may be doing in conjunction. So it does add up. Thanks, Shannon. You're welcome.